hello friends in this video i will show you how to convert a web page into a pdf so let's start here is my web page app and this web page app contains a web view and on this page in on create i will load google.com so here is this web view load url block and here i will load https colon double double slash google dot co dot in okay and on back pressed if it can go back i will use web view go back so i will use this if else block if web view can go back web view go back else finish activity now to save it as pdf we need a button and that i will add in drawer so I'll go to view main.xml and I will add a drawer here then save it now the drawer is added as a custom view so I'll go to custom view in drawer underscore main here I will add a linear vertical and I will add a button in this I will write save as pdf save as pdf and i will increase the text size to 25 now let me set some background color also okay now let's go back now in order to save it as pdf we have to use this code sorry this code which is first it defines a print job then it says requires api is equal to build dot version codes dot lollipop and then there is the code which is print the web page web view and it is defined as this uh, first it defines a print manager called print manager with a small p as this dot get system service context dot print service it uses the print service of the device then it defines a string job name which is equal to the url and the web page then it defines a print document adapter called print adapter and this is created using the web view and the job name so here this web view is actually the web view which we take as variable in this method then it assert print manager not equal to null this print manager if it is not null then it defines the print job which is print manager dot print job name comma print adapter comma new print attributes dot builder dot build so this is the code now let's use it in sketchware so i'll just copy this and we will put this in a more block extra here first we have to close this more block extra and in the end we have to put a opening curly bracket and in between we can put our code which is this 
now first is print job then it defines this private void print the web page that requires api private void print the web page then there is this statement which we do not need so i'll just remove this then there is print manager then setting the name of job and the string job name creating the pdf document adapter instance and then print document adapter it defines the print document adapter next is the statement which we do not need and after that this code assert print manager not equal to null and it defines the print job okay now let's check this if it runs or it shows error so it shows following error print job cannot be resolved requires api cannot be resolved print manager cannot be resolved again print manager cannot be resolved and print document adapter cannot be resolved and print attributes also cannot be resolved so for this we have to check the imports here there is only one import related to print and that is android dot print and there is one import android dot support dot annotation so for those things related to print which are not resolved i will add this android dot print dot print job then for print manager also android dot print dot print manager and here also android dot print dot print manager and here android dot print dot print document adapter and for print attributes also android dot print dot print attributes okay and for this requires api since i'm using android x this will not work android dot support dot annotation i have to use the android x import so that i searched on chrome and this is what i found android x dot annotation dot requires api So I'll just copy this and use it in Sketchware instead of requires API. I will write Android X dot annotation dot requires API. Now let's check this. So now this is working, but we have not put this code on button click. So here in the drawer, I will add an on click event for the button. And in this button one on click, I will use this code. The code was this we have defined 
private void print the web page web view so I will just copy this and use it here in button click and here instead of this I will write my web view which is web view 1 web view 1 and I will put a semicolon now let's check this so this code will not work if it is API level below lollipop so you have to add an if else statement on button click event so that people come to know that it whether it will work or not okay here is google now let's go to sports now this page is loaded now let's convert it to pdf so here i will click on save as pdf and it will open the pdf app and here is the web page converted to pdf this you can save as pdf by creating the print view you can select the location and select the name of the file my file and save it so it is saved actually here I should put this code also close drawer and I have to put the if else this code if build dot version dot sdk int is more than or equal to build dot version codes dot lollipop then print the web page the code which i used earlier print the web page web view one else show message that this feature is not available for your device here I can write show message not available for device below Android lollipop this thing so that's on this video thank you very much for watching this